Hey, what is going on, everybody? This is the e bike guy, and it's early in the morning. I'm out here trying to uh, see what I can do with this battery by making it a little bit bigger. As y'all know, this is the battery that came on uh, this the Juice Pipe Scorpion X. Uh, recently, uh, we sold it uh, to one of my son's friends, and he's um, he's a teenager, doesn't know any better. So, uh, what's going on is that he's riding every day all the time and not charging his battery and now he's complaining about oh I don't have no range it's not charging all the way up so um, you know me being as a dad and trying to keep the peace I'm trying I'm gonna see what I can do by making it bigger so it's 15 amp hours I'm gonna try to see if we can go and increase it to 20 amp hours I already checked the cells in the back so there are 2500 mini up our cells I do have some extra ones and this is at 50% charge I am going to keep the BMS in it and this is another important thing about the BMS especially when people doesn't know anything about batteries uh, this BMS works so I'm going to keep this in here the controller and the bike it is not uh, 52 volts uh, this controller for some reason goes up to 60 uh, 48 and um, 36 volts so it doesn't have the option to go to configure it to 52 volts so when it runs low this BMS does shut the bike off which saves the battery so I'm going to be keeping the BMS in this battery okay um, just because it's not my bike no more and I do monitor you know I'm saying the, the voltage and all that stuff in, in uh, my e-bikes but it's not mine no more. It is a person that doesn't know anything about batteries or e-bikes in the, in general, and thinks these bikes runs forever when they charge it up. So it, so he think it, so he thinks he can run this bike when he charged up in the morning and think he can ride this bike all day without charging his battery. So it has a high power control on. It has a high power motor. So what we're going to do? We're going to see if what we can do to increase the capacity. I might have to modify the case. Um, you know what I'm saying just to extend it a little bit but yeah we're going to go ahead and see what we can do to modify it to make it um 20 amp hours instead of 15 amp hours so without further ado let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got i got the battery out of the case and as you can see um this is the charging port that i had made also i have made an xt90 right here to bypass a fuse um this this is um bypass not bms bypass but it's just been bypassed on the fuse right here because it has a bms inside of it uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the cells so we do have 2500 million power cells as you can see right there i have no idea what kind of cells are they but so we're going to try to add these cells in here so we have so we have a set of these right here eve let me turn up hold on so we have some eve cells right here and these are 20 uh i think they, these produce 30 amps each cell okay and these also um, the 2.5 amp hours, but a 2,500 milliamp hours, and we're going to be adding these cells, at least two to each group. Okay, so we're going to see. I know this has cell holders in here. We're not going to take that off. We're going to just see what we're going to do by adding uh, two cells per per each group, and that's going to probably bring it up to about at least 18 hours, maybe three. I don't know for sure, but I do have a bunch of these cells that I'm going to just uh, go ahead and use and put in this uh, pack we're going what we're going to do is we're going to have to probably uh cut the top of this open with a grinder we're going to cut that open so that way we can slide uh this in um it's not going to fit no more so we're going to be uh, uh trying to uh, make it to where it's going to go on the bike not be removed he doesn't care how it how it goes into the bike he just wants more range so uh hopefully this is going to be an easy fix so we're going to get this off right here and as you can see um so as you can see we have um each group right here so i mean this is a cell group so this is on 1s 2s 3s so all the way to 14s so basically we're going to try to add a group on each side maybe uh so let's see here so we can see here I don't know so we're gonna go ahead and um, see what we can do by adding uh, two cells on each group right here 
So the best thing about this is that uh, since the BMS is not like, um, let me see. So the, if the, the BMS is not, you know, a standalone. It, it's what I'm saying is that it's not mounted on like the top. So it's a complete circuit board just like this. So we're going to be leaving that BMS in. And then um, we're going to just be adding uh, two cells to each uh, series. So series group or parallel group. So we're going to have, so this is a 6P. And then we're going to add two more cells right here, which is going to be an 8P. So it's going to be a total of 14S 8P setup. And then, um, so this is uh, 0.2 millimeter nickel. So we're going to go with 0.2 millimeter nickel on the uh, extra cells that's going to come out to the top. And uh, we're going to just go ahead and connect those all the way down. And then uh, I know we're going to have to modify it, the, uh, the case. So that way the cells can stick out and probably use some tape and uh, tape this bad boy up. I'm going to be uh, deleting this, this wire right here because we no longer need this no more. Uh, we're going to need this because this connects to the outside. I want to fix that right now, but it's going to connect to the outside of the uh, this case right here. Not this one, but this one right here. So it's going to connect to this. So that's the power. Uh, this is actually to power the uh, BMS on. So that way it can send current to the controller. Um, but this right here goes to this fuse, uh, which we no longer need. So we're going to be uh, taking this off. And then, like I said, we're going to keep in this our charge port. And then this is um, go to the BMS button that's on the, the outside of the case. And then this is going to go to the discharge. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to mock these up. I'm going to glue them down. And then glue another uh, row. And then I'm going to and connect those. I'm going to do a... Um, a couple of connections so so you can see what I'm doing and then you can do this too you know what I'm saying if um, if it's a little bit simpler if you have a battery like this and you want to add more capacity um, you can actually can do exactly what I'm doing right here so all right so I got done welding spot welding the cells on and as you can see they're not the cleanest okay but it's gonna work it's all about functionality so we got the BMS on the top and then what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be slip, slipping this back in the cover. So I, I cut the top off of it so you can see that, um, so that way the battery can protrude, protrude out from the top because it, it wasn't enough room to uh, house the extra cell. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put the, um, the, the covers back on it. And then after that, we're gonna tape it up and we're gonna slide it in. And then we're gonna see if it charge up. And if it does, then yeah, we also can check the voltage too. Um, let's see here. Well, I did check the voltage. Everything is checking out just fine. And they're both within four volts of each other. So um, there was one that was uh, 3.8 and there was some that was like 4.0. Uh, the BMS is not on right now. So, um, but just what we're gonna uh, go ahead and uh, get this all uh, wrapped up and then we're gonna take care of this right quick. All right, so I'm finished with this battery. It's in the case. I mean, like I say, it's a little, it doesn't, it's not the prettiest. It's, not, it's a little janky though, you know, with the duct tape and all. But the BMS is on. So we're going to go ahead and put it on the charge, let it charge up, and then we're going to put it on the bike and see uh, what we get as far as range goes. But uh, he shouldn't have no problem. Now it's just from a 15 amp hour to a 20 amp hour battery. And we're going to just go ahead and let it, uh, like I say, charge up, put it on the bike, and See what you do when it's right, son. Yeah. <laughs> so we need you to go. So we got the battery on the bike. There we go. Let's let me, sh let me sh show everybody. Okay. So there it is. And it fits. It fits pretty good. Hey, it's a little bigger. Mm -hmm. It's 20 up hours. <laughs> Turn it on. Oh, you got a pole? I told him he has to stay. Yeah, mesh and hold it. There we go. All right. You got full bars. You might can ride a little bit now. Yeah. You see them bars start to dip. And you know you low, you got to charge, you got to charge it with you. Yeah, I got to charge it. Okay, you can go over there, throw it on the charger. Yeah, I'll huh? down the road with you. All right, I mean, don't waste it, you know what I'm saying? I got to go with Jamari. Oh, Jay's going with you too? Yeah. Oh. Wait, well, hey, we might ride over there. Yeah, we might ride over there. Everybody trying to get our e-bikes out and try to ride on over there, you know, to the party. My boy Roy's having a party too. Gonna have a group ride today, as a matter of fact. Just trying to get the kids in war for a little bit. 
mean, not fast. I mean, it's fast. I mean, she got a direct drop up motor. Now you need some brakes. That I can't do. I had to sell this. Now you got to go and buy some brakes. Now you got twenty dollars. I can buy the brakes. Huh? All right. Yeah. So the bars didn't dip too much, did it? Uh, no. Okay. So you got a little more juice now. Okay. So you, you you're gonna be satisfied. I hope you're gonna be satisfied, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Y'all have it. So another satisfied. I won't say customer, but another another son's friend satisfied with the with the modifications I just did, and hope that will last for a good minute. So, anyways, stay tuned for more videos. We're gonna have some more e-bike ride videos. I'm gonna have some more DIY videos. Also, we're gonna be doing uh, two models. I'm gonna be building an e-bike for a customer, a Tommy Bike Legend. They're gonna be coming all the way down from Michigan to pick this bad boy up, and then we're gonna be premiering premiering that as well as my bike and my son's bike all together. So y'all gonna get the the, the y'all can see it for the first time <sighs> yeah that's for the public though anyways so stay tuned for our videos now see y'all the next time this e-bike guy peace what's on what happened chain came off, uh, chain came off huh got a guard on there and the chain came off <laughs>